All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at the scatter plot, and we're going to learn how to create this in Google Spreadsheets. All right, so scatter plots are one of my favorite types of graphs. Um, I like it because you, it shows you how closely related two variables are to one another. And so in this case, what we look at are the height and the weight of the top tennis pros, uh, both male and female. So I took the top 100 male and female ranked tennis pros. Um, I got the information from the ATP World Tour and the WTA tennis websites. And where their height and weight information was available, I decided to use that and create a scatter plot. So what we see here is on the x-axis, we have the height measured in inches, and the y-axis is weight measured in pounds. And so a question we can ask is, how closely related is a player's height to his or her weight? Or in other words, how well can you predict a player's weight when given one's height? So what we have here are two sets of data. The blue represents the actual data, so we plot exactly what the player's height is versus his or her weight. The red line is something that we constructed. It's also known as the best fit line or the linear trend line. It's the best fit line given the data set that you have. So this line measures perfect, a perfect linear relationship. And so as you can see, the blue lines here with the blue dots are pretty close to the red line, but not exactly perfect. So let's take a look at the data and see how we created the best fit line. So here, as I mentioned, are the tennis pros. We have the ranks, uh, female, male, female, male, etc. And where the data was available, we have their height and their weight. So this was pretty easy. Whenever you construct a scatter plot, you want to make sure you have the x-axis data points in one column and the y-axis data points in the second column. Now, to create the best fit line, we use the equation y equals mx plus b. This is the equation of a line. And so m is the slope and b is the intercept. And we can calculate what the slope and the intercepts are using the functions slope and intercept. In each case, we start off with the y-axis data set, comma, x-axis data set. And we do the same for both. And so these functions will yield the slope and the intercept. At that point, once you have the slope and intercept, you can solve this equation for a line based on the x data point that you have. So the best fit line, y, would equal the m, the slope, times the x data point plus the intercept. You'll notice that I have dollar signs in front of both the slope and the intercept because we want to keep those cells static as we copy and drag this formula down this column. So as you can see, if I click anywhere, you'll notice that these two cells have remained static while bringing down the x data point. So at this point, I have the linear trend, the best fit line, and the corresponding x and y, x and y data set. So at that point, to create the scatter plot, I would simply highlight the data set that I want, which includes these headers plus all that data set, and I click Insert and Chart. At that point, Go into the Charts tab and find the scatter plot area. And at this point, we want the scatter chart. So if you click on that, you'll notice the preview coming up here. And just as we've done in the past, you can go into the Customize tab, make all the edits to Title, Legend, Axis, Grid Lines, etc. Click Insert. And at that point, I'm going to X out here because the end result will look something similar to this. Now, unfortunately, Google Spreadsheets does not create the trend line or the best fit line automatically. But as you've seen, it's actually quite easy um, to do it yourself. And not only that, but it helps you to review uh, the slope of a line and lets you get acquainted to two functions, which are the slope function and the intercept function. OK, we'll see you next time.